Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of computer organization and architecture. Today's topic is addition and subtraction. So in this video, I'll be talking about the addition and subtraction of sign magnitude data. How the hardware is being implemented, what are the basic components which are required to implement addition and subtraction circuit for sign magnitude numbers. Let us begin. See, arithmetic operations you are aware with. So there are four basic arithmetic operations which are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So arithmetic instructions are actually used to manipulate the data and it is actually helpful to produce some of the solutions related to the computational problem. That is why we are always being aware with the arithmetic operations, instructions and with the help of these instructions, some numerical analysis can also be done for some complex problem, even for some predefined problems, right? So when we are talking about the numbers, so there are three ways to represent negative fixed point binary number, right? Here we are talking about negative fixed point. So the three ways are sign magnitude, sign 1's complement, sign 2's complement. You must be aware with how to calculate 1's complement. Just you have written the binary number or whatever inversion of that number. 0 will be replaced by 1, 1 will be replaced by 0. You can calculate the 2's complement. How to calculate the 2's complement? There, It is a two-step process. First calculate 1's complement, then add 1, right? And among these three, the sign 2's complement form, this is mostly used, right? And at the same time, you must remember one point that for floating point operations, most of the computers use sign magnitude representation for the mentism. So here we will talk how to develop the algorithm, means how to develop the first hardware implementation and then moving further. So before starting that, uh, you are aware with the representation of number in sign magnitude, you are familiar because in our daily life, we used to follow the arithmetic calculations. You must be having two, three, four, five numbers. You must be aware with the sign, whether the number is positive or negative. And accordingly, you can add, subtract, multiply, divide, right? So the procedure for adding or subtracting when we are talking about these two basic operations, then for sign binary numbers, the procedure when you have to add or subtract the numbers with the help of paper and pen, that is simple and straightforward. So here, now we'll be talking how to design the hardware circuit, means what are the basic components. Suppose we are having two numbers, A and B, and when we are talking about the sign numbers, means the number A could be positive or negative, number B could be positive or negative, right? So accordingly, when we are talking about the addition and subtraction, so there are total eight possibilities means four related to the addition and four related to the subtraction. So here the first column you can observe the operation. Here all possible combinations have been listed out, right? The first four rows corresponding to the addition and last four rows corresponding to the subtraction. And even in the first four rows, you can find out all the possible combinations of A and B. And in last four rows, all the possible combinations of A and B have been taken. Whether A is positive, A is negative, B is positive, B is negative. Now let's have an analysis. When we are observing the first row, right? Both the numbers are positive, plus A and plus B. So the magnitudes can be directly added, A plus B, and the resultant will be positive itself. Observe the row number 4 minus A and minus B means both the numbers are negative. Immediately you can compute how to add those two negative numbers. You will put a minus sign and you are going to add the magnitudes, right? So minus of A plus B. Now observe this row and this row. Here the sign of A and B are opposite and there is a subtraction. Right. So when you are adding the number, it means this is what? Minus minus of B, this is plus. So plus of A plus B. Minus A minus of B minus A minus you will be taking common. So resultant is A plus B. It means these are the four 
things via which you can add the magnitudes and accordingly the sign you will be getting over here. But when we are talking about the subtracting magnitudes, so subtraction always depends. Suppose you have to subtract 12 from 15. So 15 minus 12 you will be getting plus 3. If you are subtracting 15 from 12, you know that 15 is larger than 12. So you will be getting minus 3, right? It means depends which number is positive, greater than or larger than. Means here three conditions arises. A is greater than B, A is less than B and A is equal to B. So all these three conditions must be con considered over here. And in the last column which you can observe, A it is equal to B. This column is nothing when both the numbers are equal and you are performing the subtraction operation, the result will be what? Either plus 0 or minus 0 means here you will be getting the result which is equal uh, subtraction of the equal numbers, the resultant will be the 0 only. But now when A is greater than B or A is less than B, you can consider. Now observe the second row plus A minus B. A is greater than B. So what you are getting when A is greater than B, it will be plus of A minus B. As I have given you the example, you are subtracting 12 from 15. So you will be getting the result plus 3. If you are subtracting 15 from 12, so depending upon which number is higher, you are getting the result minus 3. Similarly, you can observe for third row minus A plus B. And when we say a is less than B. So when A is less than B, the result will be the positive one. So here what you are getting? Plus B minus A. Accordingly, let us have a look on this number, this row, plus A minus plus B means both the numbers are positive. But when the number A is greater than B, you are getting A minus B. When the number B is greater than A, you are getting minus of B minus A. Right. So accordingly, you can observe in these all possible combinations, how you are getting the magnitudes when you are adding the two numbers, how you are getting the magnitudes and sign when you are subtracting the magnitudes. Right. It means addition and subtraction algorithm, you have to be very much careful in the subtraction case because there you have to consider all the three cases, whether the first number is greater than second number or the first number is less than the second number or both the numbers are equal. It means the algorithm will work accordingly, depends upon the magnitude and accordingly the sign will be created. Right. So it means now when we have to implement the hardware for this particular circuit, what kind of like elements we require or the components you can say. Because here we are going to perform the addition and subtraction. It means for addition, there is a requirement of adder. There must be a requirement of parallel adder which will add the numbers, right? So when you have to add, suppose we are having A and B two numbers and we have to add. So we need the adder. At the same time, when we are checking the condition during the subtraction operation, whether A is less than B, A is greater than B or A is equal to B, means here we have to check the condition means we need a comparator circuit over here for the implementation, right? So one adder, one comparator to check the conditions and because for the subtraction, sometimes you have to follow A minus B and sometimes you have to follow B minus A. Means two different subtractor circuits, parallel subtractor, right? So there is a requirement of two parallel subtractor circuit. So now you can understand how many elements or the components you require actually. Adder, two subtractor and a magnitude comparator, right? One I'm sorry, one adder, one comparator, two parallel subtractors. So these many components. But when you are going to design the hardware for sign magnitude addition and subtraction, now we have to optimize the required equipment. Like, and there is a possibility we can optimize it. See, subtraction can also be performed with the help of addition. You know, if you are performing subtraction A minus B, then how it is going to be performed? If you take 2's complement of B, which is B bar plus 1, you add in A, then the addition will, then the subtraction will be performed with the help of the addition. So, 
this particular manner we can in this approach we can reduce the number of equipments right so now let us design the hardware suppose we are talking about two numbers so we require two registers a and b which will store the data and number a may be positive or negative b may be positive or negative so there is a requirement of as and bs as will store the sign of a if it is positive accordingly the sign will be stored negative accordingly right so as and bs are the two flip flops which will holds the sign of the numbers which have been stored in register a or b and parallel adder is required to perform the micro operation a plus b and there is a requirement of complementer because we have discussed that if we have to subtract one number from another how it could be done a plus b bar plus 1 so the complement is being required so complementer is used so now you can see this is the hardware implementation for sign magnitude addition and subtraction this is very interesting one number is stored in register a another number is stored in register b bs it stores the sign of value or the number which is being stored in register b if the number is positive it will have zero if the number is negative it will have one so as and bs holds the value related to the signs of these numbers and these are actually the flip flops they store one bit of information then there is a complementer parallel adder m is mode control input carry is available over here e is the output carry and avf is add overflow right flag so let us have a look m mode control it determines that in which particular mode it is going to work when m is 0 there are are two possibilities it may be 0 or 1 so when the value of m is 0 it means the input to the complementer is what 0 so whatever the value is available in the register b that will be directly transferred to the parallel adder right and data a will be also be transferred to the parallel adder because here the input carry is 0 right so and parallel adder will add both the numbers in this particular case so what operation is being performed the operation which is performed that is a plus b when m it is equal to 0 and at the same time result is stored in register a itself we may use a third register also to store the result but just to reduce just to simplify the its operation and to reduce the cost also the third register is not going to be used over here so the result is also stored in this particular register register a right and if there is any like overflow carry is being generated so output carry will be transferred into e what will happen the next case when m it is equal to 1 now you can observe when m is 1 the value of m is 1 so means the input to the complementer is 1 complementer will work here input to the parallel adder is also one now what will happen whatever the register value whatever the value is being stored in b register that values is being complemented means here b bar parallel adder will add c b bar input to this is one and the data of register a which is a right so this is what a plus 2's complement of b means here the subtraction operation is performed when the value of m is one so this is how this particular hardware can be implemented right so you must remember this particular point how this particular hardware is being implemented and you must remember that output carry that is being transferred into a flip flop e this e is also a flip flop and it can store one bit of information and if during the addition if there is any carry being generated that will be transferred over here right so it means here we can check we can determine the relative magnitudes of the two numbers right so the add overflow flip flop which is avf it holds the overflow bit when a and b are added right so it holds the overflow bit register a provides other micro operations which may be required when we are specifying the sequence for any algorithm so this is how hardware implementation can be done thank you so much for watching this video